C. difficile is one of the most life-threatening hospital-acquired bacteria, which affects hundreds of thousands of people every year. Treatment costs the U.S. healthcare system approximately six billion annually, and because its very name will indicate, C. difficile is incredibly difficult to eradicate, and patients frequently get reinfected. C. difficile is often found in healthy individuals, but is kept in check by gut microbiome, the trillions of microorganisms that live in our gut. Infection is usually caused by taking antibiotics, which ironically also kills the healthy microbes, allowing C. difficile to rampage out of control. Fecal transplants have shown great promise in C. difficile treatment by using human feces to recolonize the gut, but the reliance on human donors, their intrinsic variability, the potential for hidden dangerous organisms lurking in, even in the healthiest of donors, and their sheer ick factor are barriers to effective widespread use. My solution is a lab-built synthetic fecal transplant, which will have all the advantage and none of the drawbacks of traditional fecal transplant, and could come from the pharmacy instead of the blender. Using traditional meta-analysis approaches and machine learning, I have identified that microbiota composition can accurately predict C. difficile colonization, and identified sets of organisms that form interconnected ecological networks with the potential to form a synthetic fecal transplant. My next step is to begin building these communities in the lab and test. In your ability to suppress C. difficile in vitro and in animals. In conclusion, I'm trying to use a decade's worth of data and advancement in the microbiome field to address a key problem in healthcare: C. difficile infection. My work promises to provide new treatment approaches, but equally as important, potential diagnostic methods based on microbiome composition and new insights into microbial interactions in the human body.